Like a light lighting up in the dark. You make it right. I forgot how to act. It's so classic. Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words. It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori if you're new here and today I am giving you a brand new farmer's market haul. This video is in collaboration with Tamara over at Southern Wife Everyday Life. You know we like to do these from time to time. I live here in northern Colorado and she lives in Kentucky. So our produce is going to vary and I think it's super fun that we are both shopping locally and I'm really hoping that this inspires you to do the same. Now is the best time to start doing that while our economy kind of gets back to its uh, normal state. So I hope some of these ideas will give you some inspiration for your kitchen. I will link Tamara's information down below as well as her video. She is trying to get to 10K by July. Wish her luck, she is going to do it. I already know that she's gonna do it beforehand. So if you are not subscribed to her channel, go ahead and subscribe. She does recipe videos, day in the life, what's for lunches, dinner, and breakfast. And she just has some really wonderful, tasty ideas. And I know you're gonna love her. So head on over there and let her know that I sent you. And if you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Tori. I am a wife, mother of two, and we live in beautiful Northern Colorado. I teach elementary art and I am going back in August, but on the side, I like to share YouTube videos. So we share recipes, day in the lives and everyday mom hacks to make your life just a little bit easier. And we would love it if you became part of our YouTube family. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And if you are excited, let's get right into this haul and some yummy, yummy recipes right after. I just got back from the farmer's market. I actually went to a few farm stands this time. They had some fruits, veggies, they had different kinds of meats and cheeses. They had prepared dishes, but this is all I came home from this week. I did find myself some flowers, so I was super excited about that. And I only limited to myself to one bunch, so that was exciting. So I'm gonna start out here. I have one zucchini. I like to make zoodles with these throughout the week and they're just good to eat cubed with other vegetables. I have two limes for a nice cocktail that I will show you towards the end of the video. I have some asparagus here that I am just going to put into a recipe I'm about to show you. And then I have one green bell pepper. And then at my farm stand, they carry various fruits. Um, sometimes it's not grown there, but they source it locally. So I really appreciate that. So I pick up random fruits here. We have one watermelon, one apple, one grapefruit, which the cocktail is based around this fruit. And I absolutely love grapefruit and drinks. I don't know about you. Drop it down in the comments if you do. I have two bunches of kale. That is going to be another recipe for later on in the video. I usually get a bunch of kale because it's super cheap and it's really good for you. I have one thing of cabbage. I need to make some homemade sauerkraut. If you want to see a video on that, I can show you a how-to. They're pretty easy. I have some of these squash here. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I always get them. I believe it's called chayote, but I could be wrong. It's kind of like a sweet squash and it has the texture of a zucchini. It has like a pod in the center, kind of like a mango, if that makes sense. And then I have a peach here, a white peach to be specific, and that is going to go on a recipe in the video. And then I got some sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. I really like savory sweet potatoes though, which I feel like is rare. And then I have some tomatoes. I love farm stand tomatoes. They are my favorite thing to buy. And then I found some of this sweet basil pesto. I know it's not actually from the farm stand, but I love that they have sauces and marinades. And I was a little nervous because most pestos have that Parmesan in it, but then I found the vegan label. I Googled it, did my research, and I am good to go. So no dairy in here, and I'm excited to put that on something this week, probably vegetables or maybe some cauliflower. It's super tasty like that. And then I had some fresh flatbread that I saw. They usually have like a rosemary focaccia that I buy, but they had these flatbreads. There's no rosemary on it, but this one is sea salt. And then I got some purple flowers. I could not resist. I love, love, love flowers, as you know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, but I needed some just to complete my farm stand haul.
going to dive right into these recipes please remember that all of the recipes will be typed out in the description box below and we are starting with a peach balsamic pizza and before you knock the peach on a pizza i promise you this is so so good such a fun little summer flatbread and yeah that's exactly what you're gonna need a flatbread you're also going to be needing some cream cheese. I use the Kite Hill and I mix some peppers, onions, and ground black pepper into that. And then I kind of let it marinate overnight. I have some of that white peach that I just cut thinly into little chunks here. And then I'm gonna put that on the pizza and bake it actually. So all those juices will caramelize. It's super tasty that way. And then I have some fresh basil from my garden. And then over here, I have the Vivan, Vivan mozzarella, mozzarella shreds, sorry. And these are really, really good, um, super tasty and vegan. I have some pink salt here as well as some balsamic glaze, one of my favorite things to put on pizza, and then some olive oil. I'm gonna show you how to put this together. You're gonna bake it at 400 for around 15 minutes. And because I had two flatbreads, I just went ahead and made a simple pepperoni pizza for everybody else. So I just have some marinara on there, cheese and pepperoni, and I baked it the same way. I ended up taking my pizza out of the oven and topping it with some arugula and fresh garlic and sat down to eat with my husband and contemplated switching career paths. I love food so much. Um, I really want to be a chef. Just kidding. But <laughs> you need to try this. Oh my goodness. It's so good. I know I say that about a lot of my recipes, but usually when I randomly think of something, I'm so unsure of myself. But this one, you got to try it. Alrighty, I forgot to mention that I also picked up some lavender buds and I thought that was really cool. They had a little bulk bin of dried edible flowers, so that's right up my alley. Um, <laughs> you can call me crunchy all you want, but I was super excited. So here's some lavender buds. I really enjoy lavender greyhounds. Um, if you didn't know, I used to work in the restaurant industry and I had a lot of friends that were uh, mixologists, if you want to call them that, but um, they did some really awesome cocktails at a local place that we all used to go to. So I used to love their lavender greyhounds and I am going to try it a tequila way. I really like tequila. I like it better than vodka. So I'm going to do like a lavender paloma, if that makes sense. So right here I have some Reposado tequila. I have some triple sec. This is just the DeKuyper. If it were up to me, we wouldn't get this, but I sent my husband out, but no worries. Um, I have some grapefruit that I got from the market as well as some lime. And then I have some seltzer water, some mango grapefruit. So what I'm actually gonna do is make a grapefruit and lavender simple syrup. It's nothing fancy. It's really not that hard. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Then I will put the cocktails together. It's my husband's day off. So it's just a nice time to sit and relax and have a drink.
I'm gonna bring this to a boil on the stove. I know it doesn't seem like a lot of simple syrup, but it's just the two of us tonight and I like to make the syrups fresh. So if you have more people, just double this recipe or triple or quadruple, whatever you wanna do. But I'm going to get that going to a boil and reduce it to a simmer and then it will start to like caramelize, caramelize, whatever you wanna call it. And then we're just gonna put that into our drink. lavender buds in there but this is a nice little summer cocktail refresher it's you know not terrible for you minus the whole alcohol thing but um it doesn't have a lot of sugar in it and it is super tasty i really hope you try it Alrighty, it is the next day and I am showing you this curry kale quinoa bowl. I served my husband's with some chicken and mine with some tofu, but wow. If you don't like kale, I suggest baking it like this, make it into something crispy. I am just cleaning mine off right now and then I'm going to break it into little tiny bits here. And then I am going to try and get all of the water out with a colander. I like to bake my kale with olive oil and I always love putting some type of seasoning. So I'm gonna use this curry powder. It's organic and it is from Natural Grocers. I'm gonna bake this kale at 400 for around 15 to 20 minutes, but watch it because it can burn pretty easily. This is so tasty and I suggest trying it this way. So come on. meat bothers you look away i am just using some curry paste to smooth onto my husband's chicken and normally i would top with coconut cream but i didn't have any so i'm using heavy cream and i'm going to put some salt and pepper on there and then just kind of split it apart i am putting some quinoa on the bottom of this bowl i cooked that with some olive oil and parsley and then on top i put that crispy kale I ended up baking that sweet potato and asparagus and zucchini. I'm gonna put that on top of there with some hemp seeds and some tahini dressing. This is just tahini and water, so it's thinned out. And then I am topping it with some fresh green onion. I served my husband's with the same sauce and some of that chicken, and wow, he was a little nervous. He said, this looks healthy. Then five minutes later, he said how delicious it was, so I really hope you try this one. Alrighty everyone, that is going to do it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed all of these amazing fresh recipes. Don't forget to check out Tamara's channel and her video. I will link that down below and you can head on over there when you're done here. Don't forget to shop local this summer. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative, and I will see you next time y'all. Bye.